Yeah, welcome back to the pumpkin sessions and uh, we've got to say a big thank you to Colin Bags filling in at the last minute for Bad Cardigan. You. <laughs> well, and not one guitar but two guitars. What's all this about? Well, I'm borrowing as a guy, Tom, I'm not sure the name of his company, but he makes guitars based in Evesham. The guitar is a Handley. a Handley guitar, so I'm just trying out for him, give him a bit of exposure, see what it sounds like, so we shall see. How long have you been playing guitar then, Colin? I've been playing guitar since I was 17, which is now 27 years, I think, which is a long time, isn't wow. it? 27 years. Yeah. yeah. And you're, you're based in Worcester? Yeah, yeah, I live in Worcester, I've been in Worcester, I'm sort of a student, more or less, so yeah, I live in Worcester, do gigs locally every now and again, nothing, nothing too frequent, busy with family and stuff, so every now and again I go out to a gig. Obviously, your biggest claim to fame, Colin, is that you've taught my brother a few guitar chords. <laughs> I don't know who's your brother, but yeah, that is probably my biggest claim to fame. Yeah, he keeps saying he's going to come back for some more lessons. Right? I That's am coming again. back. <laughs> I've failed you so far, yeah, but I told you I'd be your worst, yeah. no, worst you, person ever to teach. You weren't back, to be honest. I think you're too hard on yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think when you're older, it's, you're more critical of yourself, so you just feel bad because you're not there. Yeah. Do you do a lot of guitar lessons? I've got, at the moment I've just got three people. Just got three pupils at the moment. I've got two, two children and one adult. It's really nice teaching the adult, the guy I teach. He already plays, so it's nice to be able to teach him some fancy stuff rather than just little basics. And so it's just nice to sort of stretch him a bit and stretch myself a bit. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it, the teaching at the moment, yeah. Talking of stretching yourself, you're, you're stretching yourself today. How many gigs have you done today? This is my second, and then I've got another two the two this evening or possibly a third actually now the other guy rings back so yeah i'm playing playing of the farriers at seven and then oh, i keep forgetting this final one somewhere on the tiling it's in the program 9 30. <laughs> if you look me up in the program you'll see there if you want to see me somewhere else as well yeah and surely you're not playing tomorrow as well i'm here again tomorrow at four he's here yeah. at four you tomorrow once again so yeah, come and see me again if you like it <laughs> what about cds then colin have you got cds you know what, at the moment, our computer died a couple of weeks ago, so I have no CDs to sell at the moment. <laughs> so, no, I don't. If you contact me, if you really like it, at some point I'll be able to get you one or two. I've got a live EP out from the Music Festival in 2010, which is ages ago now. And I've got a little EP with some stuff I've recorded as well. So there's those two. If you really like me, get in touch with me. I'll reward me afterwards and you can, I can get you a copy, but just not immediately. Yeah, and what about websites and things? How can people get in? I've got I've got a Reverb Nation page which has got most of my stuff up on. Well, that's the best way. That links in with Facebook, I think. So if you have Colin Bags Acoustic Guitarist on Facebook, or just Colin Bags Reverb Nation. To be honest, if you just put Colin Bags B A W G S into Google, you'll find my music or YouTube. Dave's put stuff of mine up on YouTube previously. So yeah, I'm not too hard to find if you Google me. Okay, tell us about a couple of the tunes you're going to do to Preston this afternoon. You're going to do a full hour, aren't you? Yeah. Well, Irish, yeah. three quarters. Yeah, about, yeah three, quarter. about three quarters of an hour. I play my full set. Kentucky Derby, which is a bit of a sort of bluegrassy kind of hoedown thing, which is a nice bit of fun, a bit louder.
Angela's Blues, which is a blues piece in A minor, a bit of a tribute to Bert Yatch, if anyone knows who he is. If you don't, he's a guitarist who died many years ago. He wrote a famous piece of his called Angie, which I had a go at learning, and I'm a bit lazy when it comes to trying to learn other people's stuff. I kind of sit there, fiddle with it for a bit, and then end up kind of morphed into something of my own. So this is what has come out of having a go at learning to play Angie, hence it's called Miss Angela's Blues. There's a bit of a tribute in the name as well. And then Lo Siento, Para No Hablo Espanol, which I found out today, Dave, that on the, yeah. on the website, it shouldn't have an S on the, on the low, it should be Lo Siento, but I didn't right. know that. And it means I don't speak Spanish. Well, I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish, so I'd not even picked it up anyway. But that's always my kind of end piece. It's a nice, fun piece to play kind of improvise and play around with it so whenever I play it's never the same way twice but it's just a nice bit of fun to play around with a bit of flamenco e it's not really flamenco but flamenco s kind of piece so, okay yeah. right then we're ready to listen to you right. you're going to start with the new guitar yeah. eh? this right. is Tom. 